All right, in this video, I'm going to tell you the secret to reducing your video editing time by removing silent or dead areas. We will achieve this using auto editor library of Python and DaVinci Resolve. First thing, let's review how to install auto editor library of Python. If you don't have Python programming language installed, it's pretty easy and absolutely free to install. Links to installation guide should be visible on screen somewhere. Once you have Python installed, press Windows and R sign, then type CMD and press enter. CMD stands for command prompt. This opens the command prompt. Type pip install auto dash editor and press enter. This will go ahead and install auto editor library of Python. If you don't have installed, it will install it. If it is already installed, you will get a message that requirement already satisfied. If we go to the documentation page of auto editor, we can see a lot of different options. We will be interested in the section for methods for making automatic cuts. Here you can see how to install it and some basic information. We are interested in the section that says methods for making automatic cuts. I will leave the rest up to you for thorough reading and testing. For this video, we will use the below line which says to cut out sections where percentage of motion is less than 6% and the percentage of audio is less than 3%. Alright, so navigate to where your video file is placed. The video file I have is placed here, that is color of 2. I am going to quickly load the original file in DaVinci Resolve, so let me open up DaVinci Resolve. Let me open a new project and here I am going to load the video file I have. So you can just drag and drop it or you can use the import option as well all right so let me load this in the timeline and let's take a quick look at the length which is 31 minutes right now if we scroll through the timeline a bit we can see there are a lot of empty areas so you can see there's no audio here then you see large empty dead space here there's no audio here we would ideally like to get this cut from the video before this library i used to do it manually and it would take me a lot of time to make these cuts and it will get pretty boring as well doing the same thing over and over Let's switch back to where our video file is. So we go back to the main folder, press Alt D to access the address bar, type CMD here, press enter, and this will open a command prompt with this exact address. So you don't have to change directory and all of that. This opens a command prompt where we will enter our command for auto editor. I find it helpful to store different presets or settings inside a notepad file. For example, the file I have is here. So here I have different presets for different options. The one I'm going to use is the last one. So in this command auto editor, this is the actual name of the library. This is a file name draft2.mkv. Just make sure that the file name that you have here, the extension that matches up here. And then this is the default option. You can also export Premiere or any other software that is supported by this. And you can also change these settings. So let me copy and paste this in the command prompt and run it. So once this is done, we should be able to see an XML file. So you can see it says draft to underscore altered dot XML. Let's copy part of it. The shortcut is control shift C in Windows 11, which copies it to clipboard. Let's go back to DaVinci Resolve and in the media pool area, right click on blank space in timelines, import, and then we select the first option that is AAF, so on and so forth, and also includes the XML option as well. Click on it. So let's paste the link that we copied earlier. Click on open. We will not change any default settings. Click on OK. And this will create a new timeline by the name of Auto Editor. Here we can see that a lot of different cuts have been made automatically. As you can see here. And we don't see a lot of silent areas or dead space. Let me expand this a bit. And you can see. You can see we don't have a lot of dead spaces anymore. The original video had a lot of pauses and empty areas which we needed to cut. But this has done the job for us. And you can see that the time for the new edited video is only 16 minutes. Can see here you can play around with different settings until it matches your style and you get the perfect result you want i hope you like the content and are able to improve and streamline your video editing process using auto editor library of python good luck and i'll see you in the next video